uh, record. I didn't push record. Why is it doing that? guy's taking a bath. He's really enjoying himself. He's having a grand old time. I guess he must be pretty dirty. He's a dirty bird. He's a dirty bird. He's getting nice and clean though. Oh yeah. Love that. That's great. This is a catfish and he's just enjoying himself too. One of the many birds that they have here at the aquarium. There's nothing to go in. There's one that's like a little reptile house. This is, this is attracting people. It doesn't show what kind of bird he is, does it? Is he an ibis or a stork? Well, maybe he's a wet floor. What? Well, if you guys want to know what kind of bird he is, I just found out. So memorize this because we're going to take a test. Thank you. 
Tampa, Florida. They have a lot of lovely trees growing inside. It's like a huge atrium. It's kind of neat. This is the entrance to the reptile house and I believe that's Marvin waving in the doorway. Let me see if we can see him. Oh yeah, there he is. on the window. This is the underside of him. If he comes down a little, you'll see his mouth. I guess he doesn't want to come down. He's having a good time up there. Oh, well, look at the stingray coming out here. He's kind of small in size. This guy is a... What a this spiny is lobster is. Spiny. Lobster likes to live along the bottom. And I'll tell you what, if I had a pot of boiling water and a nice little fork, I sure would indulge right now. He is looking really fine. He's very spiny. Don't make him angry because if he gets angry, his, he'll put his spines out and they hurt. I believe they tip with poison, but he's a cute little fella. He's got little sad eyes. Seahorses. They're cute little fellas. If I had a saddle, I'd probably get on them and see if I could ride them. Very gentle creatures. This long, skinny thing that's hiding behind the branch and coming out is called a pipe fish. It's very, very long and very, very thin and kind of unusual. are permits. They like to lay around the shoreline and their bottom feeders. They feed on crab and all the little good stuff that lays on the bottom. They're probably the closest relative to the pompano that there is. Our fish and anemones. The kids come here and they all pet the fish and enjoy them. Hands on, they say just use the hands when you touch. Like that little boy right there. There's a the starfish. Yes, she did. You did a good job, too. Above it is a, a nice anemone. Only what's in there. This is a tank of small, colorful saltwater fish. Most of these you find in home tanks. 
the meat and the small tank fish. They're kind of neat looking. These are non-poisonous and you have no problem to touch. And many really cute displays in the uh, Tampa Seaquarium. Actually, this is a place where kids can come and take their pictures. shark and he looks like he's in the shadows but he is black in color. I was just laying there on the bottom, lolling around, just enjoying the afternoon. This is the main tank. This is where everybody comes to view the fish being fed. They have very many species of fish. They put on shows for everybody to enjoy. Otherwise known as a porcupine puffer fish is doing a step by for you. Look at all the kids sitting and watching the show. Which is going to start. It hasn't really started yet, but it will soon. Okay, Sarah, I think we're ready for you now. I know Grace is here, and I believe Skylar's about here. Okay. So, Grace. Uh, the green boy over here, the trash man, but I need you to help me out with reading it, okay? Yeah, she's, Sarah's not too good at reading. She's done with the water too long. Hey. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh. It's not the treasure Skylar. Grace. Cool. Because your birthday's, right? Now, you get a lot of cool stuff on your birthdays, right? That's the good part. The bad part is a lot of adults say happy birthday to you, right? And your guys are polite, but you know what? A lot of adults can't sing too well. Huh? They have. It has nothing but seahorses of every type, color, and size. This is just but one of them. Looking seahorse. He looks like leaves. They kind of get lost in the moss when they're out in the sea. You can't even find them. They just blend right in. There's some little clown fish in here. Typical salt fish tank that you would keep in your own home. Typical fish. Here's your saltwater turtle. He seems to be in with the sharks and they don't seem to bother him, so I guess he's not going to bother them. I'd say he weighs at least 300 pounds, if not more. So you have an idea of how big those sharks are that are swimming around him. Take our lionfish. And as you can see, there's a whole tank full of them. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Lionfish! He's a lionfish. is extremely poisonous. But if you touch them, well, let's just not touch them. Blows up like a balloon. Yes. A puffer fish. And then there's others called smooth puppy. Twenty seconds. We're at the Lowry Park Zoo, and this is Marvin and I. We're having a great time, and 
There's the zoo emblem. We're about to have some fun and I'll let you know how it comes out. Actually, you'll find out for yourself after you see the video. That was spots of like clouds. I'm the king. Them, don't you? <laughs> as big as they get. Hey, This warthog and he looks like he got himself a turtle and the turtle is fine he's all cramped up in his shell and the warthog can't get to him but he's trying but that turtle's smart he's just staying put there he's gonna turn him over it's so fair it's two against one how do you like this is a this is a big guy. He is a hippopotamus. He was just going out for a swim. Now he's going into the no, he's not going into the mud puddle. Well, after that swim, I guess he needs a nap. Rolling in the mud is the best way to get comfortable. This guy's putting on a show for us. This guy is an Indian rhinoceros. Yeah, he's sure enjoying that mud. Good thing he ain't coming home with me. Gardens in the bird sanctuary. Kind of pretty. See so well through this. Well, so you wanted to come down here. Look, how does he get down? Watch. Cats are very good jumpers. This is a Borean orangutan. And I'll give you five dollars to spell orangutan. O r a n g u t a n. You peaked. You did. Yeah, I keep missing his yawn. This orangutan is holding a little baby in his arms. These are called Columbus monkeys. You know what those other ones want in cages? Yeah, those will work with the sewing. You no, know, there's one right here behind Golden Lion Tamarind. Yeah, I want one of those. Very pretty in color. This is a little guy. He looks like the runt of the litter. Um, 
look, it's Monkey Marv. This is a mandrel baboon that comes from South America. Seems to be looking for something, maybe some lost treasure. Pretty cool. Is the big one over here? Talk to me, baby. Why in the world keep that part of the zoo right now? You see these in all the zoos. They're just a basic type of parrot. Don't want to eat? Oh, well. Good stuff. decided we need a little treat so we stopped for ice cream at this wonderful ice cream place and as you can see he's really enjoying oh, his a, ice cream. Oh what a mess. Look oh. at this. Ah. Ah. Oh that some? looks so good. Here have some. No actually my own is sitting right over here waiting for me to I come wasn't and offering it to you I was offering for the people watching the tape. Oh offer them some more. All right. All right, guys, whoever's watching this, take a big bite. Yeah, they have some really great Edie's ice cream here, and we're about to indulge and have some. Hey baby, you want to say hello and smile for the camera? Oh, aren't you cute? Yes, you are, you little meerat. Bye. Been nice knowing you. Looks like somebody's making a home in this tree. They look very, very comfortable. Wouldn't mind going up and joining them. Got all kinds of goodies up there. Have the giraffes. They're just a peaceful family of friends just enjoying themselves also. And guess who's coming to visit? Fellow zebra. I'm over here. 
Boy, he looks so small next to those giraffes, doesn't he? All right. Actually, he's a baby. Just a little boy.